Moving into our fourth tutorial now for this cabinet, we're going to start to create the pin. So these pins can be replicated in the assembly as many times as you want for putting the shelves in. So they're just going to stick out of the hole slightly with a flat top so the shelf will fit on nice and straight. Um, we're going to start using the sketch tool. And then the first thing it asks you to do is tell you where the sketch is going. So we're going to click on this side to start with. Everything in that's fine. You'll see that the top here now has changed to your sketch options and we want to start with a circle. We'll look at it from the right hand side so we square on and we're going to change our view just like we did in the previous tutorial to be shaded with hidden edges. So we can see the circle and make sure that what we're drawing now is going to match it perfectly. When you're hovering over you can see that the orange square means that we're snapping to the center of the circle so we know it's going to line up with the one that already exists. Once that's showing up, I'm going to click, drag my circle out and click roughly at the right size. I'll add the dimension to the diameter and that circle is going to be finished. So that was eight millimeters. We'll finish that sketch there because that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to zoom into the actual one we're drawing on over here and we're going to extrude that circle. So sketch six. And we're going to make it go inwards the other way, just 10 millimeters. So essentially, it's just filling that hole for now. But we're going to make sure as well that it is new that is selected. So we're creating that pin as a new part. Okay, so keep that relatively simple at first. And it's just a cylinder, making sure it's a different color so we know it's a new part. And the cylinder is just filling that hole. The next sketch that we're going to do is on the top of that cylinder. So we select the face, click sketch, and again, Look at it from the right hand side so it's a bit easier for us. Now we're working on that bottom left drawing at the moment. We're then going to create a slightly more complex sketch. So we're going to draw the circle out first, add the dimension to make it 8mm, and then we're going to add some lines about this. So we're going to go from the left up diagonally, we're going to go horizontally right, and then down to connect back to the circle down here. We can then add dimensions to make this look exactly how we actually want it to be in the end. So this part here we will make 15 millimeters flat. And then we can change the angle that these meet to be 45 degrees on both sides. And we'll just see where that leaves us to start with. So once we're done there, we can see that that's not looking exactly how we planned. So let's make this a little bit wider to make it easier. Okay, so 20 mil across the top, 45 at either side, and they look fairly even coming out of the pin here. I think that will do for now, so we can finish the sketch. We're then going to extrude. If we look at it in 3D, it's going to make it a little bit easier for us to understand. Move that about your screen and zoom in. We're then going to extrude the whole of that sketch out, but also the circle that we drew as well. So it's bringing the whole of that to create this flat section for our shelf to fit on. And we'll just bring that out 15 millimeters and finish that with a tick. You can see, and you've probably noticed, that the cylinder and this part were different colors. So that means it's created it as a new part. If we go back into the extrude, we don't want that. So we want to edit and we want it to be added that will ask you for merge scope now, and all that means is which part do you want to add it with or merge it with. So merge scope will be with part eight, which was the cylinder, and it goes to the same color, so you know you've um, clicked on the correct one, and we'll click tick to finish. So we've got that pin or peg sitting there. If we hide the cabinet, you can see it on its own. And that will work, that's exactly what we want. We're only gonna create one for now, because we can replicate that as many times as we want in the assembly to sit under the shelves and we've got something to attach them to. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is draw out the shelf on top of this. And again, it's only going to be on the bottom because on the next um, tutorial, we'll look at basic features of the assembly tools on the assembly tab that you can see at the bottom. And that will allow us to put lots and lots of these in. So like we did the four legs, we'll do those again in the assembly. So really, we'd only want to create one and maybe the position for the four on the cabinet. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a shelf. We're going to use the back surface here as the face that we want to sketch on and click sketch. We'll look at it from the front and we're going to draw a rectangle where we want the shelf to go. And we want it connecting to the two inside edges of the cabinet, making sure that they go orange so we know it's snapping to them. We'll dimension the thickness 
to be 15 so it's consistent across the whole cabinet and then we're going to dimension the distance from the base to here so that it will line up so if we try 65 we're just below so in fact I'm going to delete that dimension by left clicking on it and pressing delete on my keyboard and I'm going to measure this bottom surface to the top of the peg that we've put in and make that zero I'll zoom back out now and we can see that my sketch is finished I've got the correct thickness it's positioned where I want it to be so I'll finish the sketch I'm going to extrude the whole of the rectangle and I'm going to change blind and I'm going to make it up to face okay I'm going to zoom in and select this outer edge so it'll bring that shelf all the way and stop it automatically at the distance that the outer edge is you don't have to measure you don't have to remember any dimensions that makes it nice and straightforward making sure that we've got new selected which it already is and it'll create your shelf as a separate part so we now have our peg for it to sit on and we have our shelf when we start in the assemblies we can put as many or as few of them in as we like hopefully fairly straightforward good luck